Now, Canopus is the second brightest star in the night sky, and it's only outshone by the Sirius. But Sirius is quite close to us, it's only 8.6 light years away. And Canopus, on the other hand, is more like 310 light years. So imagine if we put Canopus on Sirius distance. Imagine how bright it would be. Oops, intro. Now Canopus is quite bright, it's actually the second brightest star in the night sky. So it means that the early humans wouldn't have let go of it. <laughs> they surely would have noticed it and it would have at least some two historical references. <laughs> but the star is not visible above 37 degrees north latitude, which means that it is not visible in most of the Europe and quite a lot of North America. So this cuts out a lot of people. But it is visible in the Greek. So, you probably guessed it right, the ancient Greeks wouldn't have let go of the second brightest star in the night sky. The star is in the constellation of Carina, which was considered to be a part of the Argo Navis, the famous ship of Jason and his Argonauts. Canopus was originally marked as the eel or the rudder of the ancient celestial ship. Sadly, the Argo Navis constellation does not exist right now and people will see it broken into three parts mainly. The eel, Carina, the sails, Rhea, and the deck, Rupis. I don't know how to pronounce that. But since it is the second brightest star, it certainly would be the brightest in its own constellation. Which is why it's also called the Alpha Carina. But we are forgetting something. Right in time. So according to the Fred Schaff, the legend is, now Canopus was the name of the pilot of the fleet of Minilos, which was the Helen's husband. And this was the time when they were returning from Troy. Now, Canopus went ashore and he was promptly bitten by a poisonous snake and sadly he died. Now, Menelaus then in honor gave his pilot's name to both the port he founded and the star, Canopus. So let's move into the star's characteristics. But I think we should find the star in the night sky first. Now, the first thing you should do is to move south of 37 degrees north latitude and now get a clear southern sky view, be comfortable and enjoy yourself, then look for the brightest star in the night sky, surely it will be serious. And then after finding the serious, just move slowly downwards from it and then you will come across another bright star and this would be your canopus. But first you need to know the months and the time when you are going to observe it. Best observed in February because of its evening visibility rather than seeing it up at 3 or 4 in the morning. Its right ascension 6 hours 23 minutes and 57 seconds and declination of about minus 52 degrees 41 minutes and 44 seconds. Running into the star's characteristics, it is of a fairly rare type. It's a class F giant which means that its mass is quite closer to our sun but it is much hotter than our sun. It has a surface temperature of about 7538 celsius at its surface. It also has a luminosity class rating of 2 which means it's quite bright. It also has a big radius, 70 times that of our sun. It is also insanely bright and you might be like, <laughs> it's our shown by serious. What you talking about? <laughs> well, no. Because it, when it comes to the luminosity, it has a much greater luminosity than that of the series. And coming to Sirius, it's not even close. Its luminosity is about 11,000 times our sun's. And when it comes to Sirius, it's only 25.4. Star is also quite useful in navigation. It didn't only help the ancient sailors, but it also helped the spacecraft. Many spacecrafts carry a special camera known as the Canopus Star Tracker. Marina 4 uses it for second axis stabilization. But if you are looking for supernovas, it's not the one. It may not be massive enough to start a fusion chain to reach iron and trigger a core collapse. Instead, it would eventually become neon oxygen white dwarf. Canopus may not be the brightest star today, but it has been in the Earth's history. About 90,000 years ago, Sirius moved quite close to our solar system and thus outshining the Canopus. And Sirius would stay brightest for quite some time now, but in about 80,000 years, the Sirius would move further away and Canopus would again be the brightest. 
So that's it guys for this one and I hope you guys like the video. Smash like, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. And let me know which star do you want to know about. Bye.